and welcome from our kitchen. <laughs> My name is Karen and this is Chosen and Precious Farm and in today's video, finally backsplash time. Yes! Okay, let's get started. So this is what the kitchen is looking like right before we started putting the tiles. But before we got to this point, we had to paint and we had to put some trim around the window. What? Huh? What are you doing? Actually, In English. Tra tra cover what? Cover hole. Uh huh. So you're covering the holes? Okay. Now, I'm sure you guys don't want to see us painting again, but yes, we painted all of the parts that were not going to be tiled. This is the tender and dollar. Do you learn English? This is the dollar tree. It's one dollar. It's economical. Hmm, we got that at the dollar store, so let's see how good it works. So this is what we have. This is what we started with before we started putting down the tiles. Now I wanted to explain the background here, like the wallpaper that is on the wall. This is not actually wallpaper. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with older mobile homes, but the sheetrock that they used to use already had this like so-called wallpaper on it. Um, if you've ever tried to remove this wallpaper, you would know this is not wallpaper. This is part of the sheetrock, so I just wanted to explain that. We found that it's completely fine to tile over it, so that is what we did. All right, we are ready to start. Don't mind that right there. We are ready to start. So we've got two buckets here, one full of water, one with a little bit of water. And we have a thin set over here. Well, it's an all set. It is um, a mortar for backslash. Mi amor, quieres explicar qué es lo que vas a hacer y yo te traduzco? He's going to explain and I'll just translate for him. We're going to mix the concrete to stick the tiles to the wall. So for those of you that don't know, this is what my husband's profession is. He does this all day, every day. Sí. A veces no quiere funcionar, pero en el otro. No, toca hacer el cemento un poquito que quede como pegajoso y muy duro y muy y muy grande. Okay. He said that the cement you got to make it sticky. Can't make the cement neither too dry or neither too runny. Como consistencia de que? Peanut butter? No, más suave. Not as thick as peanut butter, so a little bit smoother than peanut butter. Como que, como whipped cream, como icing. Como icing. Como, como cual? Icing? Uh, like icing. Not as thin as whipped cream. We'll show you the consistency here.
he has it this consistency um, he's worked with different uh, mortars and the Schluter, Schluter set the one we're using it dries up very fast so he has it pretty much like a cake batter consistency but he, you want to be able to turn your spoon and still have a lot left on your spoon and it not running very fast. So this is how it would stay on the wall and then you can make um, uh, you can make little uh, indentions like he's going to show you I guess and that's how you put on the wall. Tiene que quedar como un pedazo en la cuchara. Ahí. Eso es todo. Okay, here's the consistency. It kind of looks like the consistency of a of a nice thick cake batter. I'm going to explain a little bit what he was doing here, but he was basically measuring the center of the window so that we can make everything look even. So why did he measure the center of the window? So we started at the center of the window so that we could have the, what is the tiles that are around the, around the window look centered. So that was going to be our starting point. We didn't want to start at one end of the window and then get to the other end and it looked like it was not even. So the window was our starting point, and then we went off to the sides from there. Okay, I know what you're thinking. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post on there the question of whether I should lay these tiles vertical or horizontal. And uh, majority votes said horizontal, but I did not agree with the majority vote. So, I finally got one vote that made the most sense to me, and it was by my cousin, who is an interior designer, so I just trust his judgment, and he agreed with me on the vertical. And he said, it is less commonly seen, it's also gonna make your backsplash look taller, and it's more unique. And I was like, yes, that's the only thing I needed. So we went vertical. We sealed all of the edges with this plastic white trim. I don't remember what it's called, but we found it at Lowe's. Okay, you guys. So we've put them all on. 
We still have to put the grout, but this is what it's looking like. Here's what we're using. Unsanded grout, and it's in the color white. Okay. So when it's thick enough to where you lift up the handle and it does not drip, then it's ready. So this is the final result. I am so in love with how this has turned out. Like I wake up every single day and look at it and think, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Like so beautiful. And I'm so happy that we were able to do it. Especially since we were able to do this at such a low cost. Um, we were able to get the tiles for about $12 a box and we only bought four boxes. The grout itself I think was like 13 bucks and then the trim was like another 20. Um, so it was relatively cheap for us to do this, especially since we're doing the labor ourselves. And I'm so happy that we were able to accomplish this. Although I'm starting to miss the wallpaper, but no, no, I like, I like my backsplash more. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I do have other videos of how we've gotten this far. Please feel free to watch those and see our journey. And as I always say, God bless you.